Can tear trough filler cause blindness? The answer lies in the anatomy. The opening under the eye actually contains a blood vessel which is used to supply the skin around the eye and the face rather than your vision. That blood supply is actually from a vessel that's located on your nose. As you can see when you're doing tear trough filler, you're far away from that area. Another reason why tear trough filler is safe is that you're just using a sharp instrument only to insert your plastic flexible cannula, which is much more likely to bounce off structures rather than go into them. There was a viral video a few years ago um, by Dr. Gavin Chan, who's a big name in the cosmetic industry. He was saying how he's had three cases out of the 12,000 tear troughs that he's done that filler was actually injected into the eye socket itself, close to the eyeball. Obviously this was a concern and it was a big deal at the time. He claims to have stopped doing tear troughs as a result because it did not fit in with his Hippocratic Oath of first doing no harm. As a surgeon, I would say that there are very few procedures that you can do that have a 0.0025% risk of harm. It's all about just counselling your patients and it's up to you whether or not you accept that tiny risk versus going ahead with a procedure that could um, change your life and the way you feel about yourself. It's important to say that what Dr. Gavin Chan was saying is that he had problems with patients complaining of puffiness under their eyes, which he tried to dissolve and he still couldn't. It wasn't that these patients weren't blind because their filler was injected around their eye. It was that they had this complication of puffiness.